Hey everyone, it's your host of Cyber and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys on how to access EN mod a game on your Steam Deck. Now, if you have Steam OS just like me, I can show you I have the original Steam OS, nothing fancy. I can show you here. I have the OS build, the Steam Deck, etc. etc. I can't go further because, you know, my MAC address, stuff like that. But I wanted to show you guys on how to mod a game if you're ever planning to mod a game on your Steam Deck and you want to enjoy mods but you can only do it a certain specific way that I have known for a very long time. You can do the same thing on PC so it's pretty much not anything new. But I wanted to show you guys this. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to, we're going to go ahead and we're going to turn off the volume. Uh, so what you're going to do is you know, want to make sure that you have your Steam Deck ready with the game that you want to install. Right now I have Resident Evil 6 installed and this is the game we're going to mod. Now I don't have any, I just want to make foremost that I'm using this as an example. I do not actually have any mods downloaded onto the Steam Deck so I'm just showing you how you can do it and easily put it into a game depending on what the mod, mod developer um, specifies of where to put the game. So what you'll need to do is you can't do it, you, what you need to do is you need to head over to your menu and head to power and click power and then switch to desktop. You'll need to switch to desktop because you'll need to be able to gain access to the explorer of your Steam Deck. Once you get into your Steam Deck you'll be presented with their desktop and you'll have to wait a few moments for Steam to load. Once Steam loads we can proceed then there. Alright, there you go. Steam has loaded. So what you'll need to do is you'll need to what you'll need to do is that you'll need to head over to the bottom of your of your desktop where it says Steam, click it, and then click library. You may you may um, expand the window and you'll you'll need to do is you'll need to click on the game that you want to mod. Now this is where it, it becomes tricky. This is for basically people who don't want to go the hard way and having to go through window to in through um, through tons of folders and and you're still in your red still need to new to to the Steam Deck and Linux. And what I like to do is whatever game I want to mod, I'll, what I'll do is I'll head over and click Manage, or you could also hover over the game in your library and click click Manage, and then click and click and search look for an option called Browse Local Files. What will happen is that it will now open the directory where the game is installed. This is the actual game where it's going to run, etc., and etc. Cetera, et cetera. And this is where we're going to, going to need to install our game. Now, for for Resident Evil 6, usually all the mods would go into the native PC folder, most native PC folder. Now, most mods will go into the ARC and DX9 folder. This is where all you would put your mods for Resident Evil 6. Other games may, may do it more more sophisticated. They may do it differently. But you, once you get into, into Resident Evil 6, you can head over to the top where it says to where it goes, like say here. Say word here, you can go up here and click comment and you can see all the games that you have installed. You can modify, change the different configuration, and even know exactly how you know how to do it in your own specific way. This works similar to Windows, you can do the same thing on Windows, but Windows makes it much more easier simply because um, you don't have to do this. You can just go to the file explorer and just go directly to the directory. I mean it makes this goes the method goes goes faster, but you know, you can go both ways. Uh, if you want to go access for your save data, you would have to go to the Steam apps and go to Compact Data. Now there are three folders. Since I only have Resident Evil, Evil installed, we would have to find the Resident Evil folder. So they're not enabled in saying Resident Evil or something like that. They're enabled in their app IDs. So we're going to go into, this is Resident, this should be Resident Evils, I believe. Let me see. So this one we go into Drive C, we'll go to PFX, Drive C, then we'll go to Users, and then Steam User. And then we'll go ahead over to documents, and boom, this is our our Resident Evil um, six um, um, save. Now, each one, if you wanna if you wanna correlate what Oswald save data is, here's how to do that. So what you need to do is if you wanted to, if say for example you're a newbie to this and you want to know where your save data started, you would have to go here, click properties, and what you'll need to do is you'll need to look for an option where it shows you the Steam ID. Um, the app ID. So this is the app ID 221040. 
if we went back to that folder, which we will open again, to open again, browse file files, and then head back to Steam user. Gonna call back data. You would you would look for the one that says two two ten forty. This is your this is the game that you that's associated with the app ID that you want to look for if you're trying to modify or change or fix something in the save data. Um, and that's how you pretty much mod. It's once you once you modify the game, you install your mods. They should work out of the box just as if you were doing it on a PC. The only thing that I have not get I cannot show you in the video on how to install mods using mod managers because mod managers are, are, are windows specific um, are windows only they're very kind of difficult to show and now i know there are linux mod managers out there but this video is not for that very purpose this purpose is to show an easier way without having just to go through the hoops of installing a mod manager to install mods now you still have to look up online on how on where to put mods in specific, specific games but once you do it, it becomes pretty pretty easy like cyberpunk is pretty easy to do seven days to die is easy pretty easy to do and resident evil 6 is pretty easy to do once you figure it out other than that that's how you install mods for games on a steam deck if you're using the steam os instead of windows i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next time